Hey, good evening, folks. John Adams from Eyes New Jersey News. So I'm here today to bring you with some breaking news. And with me, in just a moment, you're going to see on screen Mr. Ed Fortune, also known as the NJ Weed Man. And he's facing a little dilemma right now. He's actually having an impersonator um, impersonating him online and conducting business with NJ Weed Man's name. Let's bring on Ed and uh, hear from him firsthand what's going on. Hey, good evening, Ed. Thanks for joining us today. Yeah, how are you, man? We're here at the Portland Airport. Very good. Thank you for joining the show. You ready? Sorry. Very good. Yes. So, so Ed, uh, why don't you uh, shortly tell our viewers a little bit about what you do and what you do for here in the great state of New Jersey? Well, I've been an activist for years. I'm constantly talking about the legalization of weed as a civil disobedience effort right now. I like pretty much openly sell weed. Um, but that's at, at the, you know, at our brick and mortar place. Um, and which reminds me, we have a restaurant, Debbie and I, we have a restaurant, NJ We Man's Joint, and we have a place called The Stash Spot. Um, and now we have an impersonator who's not only impersonating me personally, he's impersonating our businesses. And he's putting things on the internet that's not me, but could put me in jeopardy. Well, thank you for sharing with us, Ed. Um, now, why don't you tell us why someone would want to impersonate you? Like, what would they come to achieve by doing such a thing? Well, over the years, uh, I've used my face kind of like a logo. <laughs> um, I'm pretty branded. I've been. Uh, uh, advocating for marijuana for a long time. So a lot of potheads know me, a lot of potheads recognize me. So someone using my face could, trust you. could have some type of advantages. And apparently this guy's having a little success faking me. Yes, you did mention online that the gentleman in question was actually turning a profit by using your name and operating under your image. Yes, we know of at least two thousand dollars worth of scams that he's pulled off there's probably others out there that we don't know anything about um i even got a couple inboxes from people in europe thinking i had sent them something and they were waiting so i'm pretty sure he's gotten a few people i don't know about like in europe and stuff like that um places like that um i don't know i just i find it amazing and, and you know what we went back and looked at one of his pages one of his pages, he sells a lot of things. He sells like Percocets and Ecstasy and Xanax and guns. I mean, he's faking people out. What if, what if law enforcement looked at his page and thought it was me for real, and you know saw these guns and stuff that he's selling, and somehow I get implicated in his scheme or his scam? You're absolutely right. I mean, that's a huge burden that's put on your shoulders there. I'd like to show some of the images um, that were related to your post. Let me put something up on the screen here. Um, so this is one of the posts that you shared. Uh, it looks like this gentleman, he's operating on the Instagram network. That's where he seems to be getting a lot of his traction traffic. Yeah. This page doesn't have that's too many. One. This is a new that's one. That's a new one. That one we should start in like five days. They right. go back and they take all our pictures. I mean, like, pictures of, like, you know, me and him together. I think even, like, pictures of the kids and stuff, like, family pictures. The dogs. Stuff, but the dogs. But that one, I think, is only five days old. But the, what happens is, is that the guy is, like, trolling, I guess, his page and his joint page. Now it's the joint page. They can take joint pages. And he's calling people and soliciting them. So then they go, and I guess they're paying Western Union so they can't get their money back. So then... He won't return the calls. They can't get a hold of him. And then all of a sudden, they're calling us and inboxing us. And we're like, well, it's not us. You know, so you should have checked. And it's all NJ Weedman stash pie. And, like, everything's misspelled. And, like, people got to, like, yeah, you know, he, do a little bit of research they, before they give somebody $500. He uses slight variations of my name for our, our location. And people, I guess, don't notice the slight variations. They think it's me. And they send them cash. They don't pay attention. And then after they realize they got beat, then that's when they call me or they contact us 
trying to get some money or some help or they think that somehow that I'm supposed to get really do it then for them. Like if they got ripped off for doing this, then they call me like, hey, go ahead and ripped off, can you help me? And like, can you send it to me? Yeah, can you, can you, <laughs> We don't send anything. We don't ship anything. We don't send anything. I told them what five times. Well, then what? I said you got ripped off. This was a scam. Well, then can I go to your website? I said how many times I gonna tell you? We don't do that. We don't do. We don't do it. But it doesn't matter how many times you say it. Because I think he, she was trying to get uh, an ounce for seventy five dollars. Because of course he kept me great deal. Well, he got ripped off. It's got nothing to do with me or us. Yeah. I mean, like we feel bad, but like you know, it, it, it's constant. Yeah. See what he's. What he's saying and putting it out there, he's saying like that I sell weed by like sending it through the mail. And you know, I've been out in the ground for a long time. I have received plenty in the mail, but have never sent it through the mail. But he even has and, fake pictures of packages. Yes. He even has fake pictures of packages going out. And he has fake, um, fake like text messages, but there's like no, like it's just like him text messaging himself because there's no other person there saying, oh great, I got the delivery, oh you're great, you know yeah, he makes fake screen <laughs> He takes fake screenshots of his, of his conversation. <laughs> it's kind of funny that way. I mean, it, it would be funny for the me that he's doing. You know, and we weren't getting all the inbox, but like before, like people don't check and they don't like inbox us to say, hey, is this it? they wait till they send the guy five hundred dollars, and then they contact us. And, and you know, I tell people when they when somebody's selling you something on Instagram, the easiest way to at least halfway check is to do a, a video chat. If you do a video chat with the guy who claims to be me and then picture opens and it's not me, then it obviously isn't me. Um, but they don't do that. They just gotta go back and forth and he, he told somebody the number he was calling from was like the shop number or something. Yeah. Like, Even ah. though they could just Google us and there's the shop number right there. Yeah, it's incredible. It's wow. Now, Ed, you I did like publish some uh, some images of the, the gentleman's uh, in question here. I'm going to put them on the screen. Maybe you could tell us a little bit more about this person here. We're going to show on screen. Now, he called me one day about six months ago. He called me. I had a conversation with him, and that's about when it started, right after he called me. And he uses his page, his images, and recently he's tried to conceal it a little bit. But, you know, I went back. This is the guy. But he went back and he took, he made a big page called NJ Weed Ma. And then he made all these posts from NJ Weed Ma saying, oh yeah, you know, everybody, you know, go over and follow this Mr. Great Debate, he's so great, he's wonderful, he's just and the other thing, it's like, oh, it's such a great honor and everything. And then after I called him out, I went in his inbox and I said, yo, man, you're a fake, you know, what, what the hell? And he's like, why are you telling everybody my page is fake? I said, I didn't say your page was fake, I said your NJ Weedma page is fake, dumbass. And then he took <laughs> all the comments now from NJ Weedma, so even the video he made isn't on there anymore. But then he made another video, he made another thing, which is new, space jersey all spelled out weed man all spelled out so if you go like there's a whole bunch of different ones he and he's different... making a week um, like I said, in the last month he made two thousand dollars i he knows more about so he's probably close to like three four grand and people that don't contact him but you know what if you're gonna like i said i mean we got all these people out there thinking that, that somehow i ripped them off i didn't send them the things that they're ordered from this guy oh yeah somebody actually tagged us in a post and said that he inboxed this woman said that he inboxed her and said he was going to sell her weed and all this and don't trust them and this is that and the other i said it's not us it's not us but i was blocked you replied to her yeah, yeah. she had me blocked but it's not us and, you know you're not getting an ounce of 75 dollars now you don't have 75 you don't have an ounce so. yeah. there's great deals now you know, really think that, and he actually has like he slashes his price with the free shipping, and like it comes up like a legitimate like I mean like if he put his mind to like good, he probably get a, a cure or a vaccine for coronavirus. But it's crazy wow. now; it's out of control. It's really out of control now. Yeah, we're we're actually on vacation, and this morning I had to field a whole bunch of calls from people thinking that they got ripped off by me. So that's what made me post that post. 
we're at the airport now, matter of fact, I'm looking over at our we're gate boarding. and our plane is boarding. So we're gonna have to cut this one short. But uh well, yeah, we man. But maybe people see your see your show and know about this. Don't send any money to Weed Man's fake imposter. And Mr. <laughs> and and real Mr. Wake and Bay, yo, you're a fake, you made the page, I'm doing it out now. So, and I pulled you out before, but he blocked me on everything. But I got enough fake accounts, I can still get to it. Wow. But he made a lot of money, he made a lot of money. Well, well, thank you so much for your time, folks, for joining us this evening and sharing with us your, your ordeal. It's really a shame. Thank you. Have a safe trip, all right? Yep. We're getting ready to hop on this plane. Catch you later, man. Peace. All right, folks, so you heard it from Ed Fortune himself. He and his family are going through this ordeal. They're, they're attempting to have a family vacation, and they're getting bombarded with angry customers due to the actions of an imposter. Truly a shame. So that's our show for tonight, folks. If you want to follow our efforts, be sure to check out at EisenNJ on all social media channels. And, of course, visit EisenNJ.org. For EisenNJ News, I'm Jonathan. Have yourself a great night.